Good afternoon, everybody. How's everybody doing today? Hope everybody had a wonderful day. I sure as hell did too. <laughs> so, today I went flying today. Today was a great flight. Probably one of my best flights yet. But first off, before I get into all that, I just want to say thank you. Thank you very much for all my viewers. Thank you for growing this channel little by little, person by person, subscriber by subscriber. With that said, subscribe and hit notifications so you get the rest of my chat, my videos. And I gotta say thank you so much for all of my uh, ride share riders, my Uber, my Uber riders, my Uber riders. You guys are the base of my channel, and I greatly appreciate that. Thank you so much. So keep getting that out there. Stan, mahalo, yes brother. <laughs> keep eating that spam and eggs, man. And I'm gonna come down there. And uh, come out to Hawaii with you, man. Thank you very much. Thank you for supporting my channel, bro. I know you're watching. Anyway, back to the video. Everybody always asks, how does this thing fly without an engine? Well, it's quite simple. And we're going to explain that to you. We're not technically we're flying, we're gliding. So basically, what happens is the plane pulls me up to 3,000 feet. When the plane pulls me up to 3,000 feet, we start gliding. I release, and we start gliding. So basically, the sun comes out and heats up the ground. So this is just a little bit of basic earth science. The ground warms up. The, the sun radiates the ground. Different areas of the ground radiate a little bit differently um, and warms up the ground and the air at different temperatures differently so when that happens the air rises hot air rises the hot air rises goes up in the upper atmosphere and forms a cloud known as the the cumulus cloud not the cumulus nimbus that's the rain cloud that happens later so and we don't want the cumulus nimbus we just want the cumulus cloud those are the white puffy clouds up you see up in the sky so that's basically it in a nutshell we're flying hit 3,000 feet we I release then after I release I'm gonna be looking for clouds if there's no clouds there's no lift we come down gently if there's clouds and there's lift like today we can get altitude and in this video I'm just gonna basically show you that prove that to you how you do get altitude how this thing works how soaring works and uh, hopefully you guys get interested into um, my channel uh, and into the sport if you guys are interested uh, I'm gonna put my uh, my uh, my email and you can reach me it's right about where is it where is it, where is it, where is it, where is it? right there so click my uh, so send me an email and uh, we'll get you rocking and rolling all right guys I hope you really do enjoy this video I hope you I can explain things to you and one other thing another thing I get is this thing sounds so dangerous flying without an engine well just explain how it works and you got to remember that these things are designed to fly without an engine a plane has an engine if that engine goes down the plane goes you know so at least this is designed to fly without that. So you tell me how dangerous that is. Watch my video, enjoy it, and uh, I'll get to it right now. We're recording. Okay. All right, we're gonna do our, our takeoff checklist. We have the controls. The checklist is up on the right. instrument panel. So right. let's go right down it. So canopy. All right. We're not closing that right now. Hold on a second. So we got the logger. You got your logger on? I've got the logger on. Okay. The instruments. All right. All right. What do you do with the instruments? We'll check our... Uh, have that on 900? Altimeter at 900. Correct. And your radio on at... Radio is on. 2305. Correct. Okay. Um, radio is 2305. Do you know how to set the variometer, the electronic one? Uh, we use it every once in a while. 
Okay. Yes or no? Let's not worry about it. Yeah, I don't yeah, really ever use it. I just use this one right here. So that's that. Then we have controls, trim. Controls. My trim is always controls. forward. I'm going to do my controls now. Okay. Checking. I have okay. motion. And are they moving in the correct direction? Yes, sir. Left stage, left up. Yep. All right, good. I checked them. Now we, we have, have more controls. What other controls do you have? We have the brakes, yeah, air brakes. Moving free and easy. Did air brakes. Did you check your rudders, B? Uh, yeah, I checked my rudders. Okay. I already checked the rudders. Okay. I got the air brake. Okay. The lock. Okay. Set. Check that. We got the safety harness. The canopy is coming down. Okay. You locked? It's kind of locked now. Canopy's down. Okay. Now I'm going to do the check. Yeah. Check and here. I'll reach back behind my. No, nope, got to go back behind the. That's good for you. Right. Now go back behind the bar and check mine. There you go. Yep. Okay, you're clear. All right, we're good. All right, we're set to go. I'm going to close my uh, big window here in just a second. You probably want to close yeah. it so it's quieter. Right. Part of the flight. Stereo cockpit up to 2,000? Uh, no. 1,000? Up to 1,000. But we'll, we'll talk if necessary. Correct. and loaded. easier to fly it today than it was last time. You know? Yeah, it was pretty windy that day. Yeah, it was. I got, I, I'm getting hit by thermals, but it's still yeah. easier. Let's concentrate on the flying. Yeah. Now, tow pilots prefer you when you're going straight and level to be about halfway out of, on his left wing. Okay. So if you can move over that side, it'll keep him from having to push so much rudder. There you go, that's a little too far now. Right about there is good. Okay, level your wings and just use the 
rudder. On the airport. Airport is at 12 o'clock okay. right now. Uh -huh. We're looking for my tow plane. My tow plane. There he is at 4, 3 o'clock. Okay. Low. You see him? Yep, got him. Just doing my clearing turn. Finding everything. Yeah, we bumped up that 100 feet real quick. I was watching it. See if you can find that thermal and we'll go up some more. Right. There it is. Should be getting into it. Right. About here. Alright, we're in it. Oh shit. Alright. Yeah, let's get to the strongest part of it and then we'll start our thermal. Yeah, I'm trying to find it. I'll get it, Tom. Alright, so it's to the southwest, so next time you come around. Steady up to the southwest a little bit. Say it again. You don't think we'll see anything close to the, to the golf course? I 
snow, we've got the clouds as our markers. We're going to find some lift up here. Okay. But I want you to continue southwest. Feel that one wing going or the other, that's the direction you turn if it goes up. Right. So there you right. go. Like that. Like that. Left wing. Uh, right. 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 All right. Left turn. 55 knots. Go. 45. 4, 30 to 45 degrees. We'll see if we, we got can, it. We had it. We can stay in that turmoil. Right there. Right there, Tom. We got it. We got the turmoil. Throw it back down. 55 knots. Got it. You can even slow to 50 at this bank right, angle. Right, right. This is where you can stay right in, it's where you get pushed out. We are climbing, Tom. Okay, we started going out of it to the north. Yeah. So we gotta extend maybe a little bit to the southwest. It's such a tight cone. There we go, we're in it, Tom. In it. There you go. 400 feet a minute. 400. All, All right, right, there we go. Do your turn again now. A little steeper. 55 knots. Yeah, that's where I'm at. Huh? Even a little steeper. Don't let your nose drop. Keep it up on the horizon. You don't want your speed building. Right at 55, Tom. Um, there we go. Nice deep little turn. Here we go. Six. Load back down to 55. Six. Okay, we're back up to release height. Right. And we're going to keep on going. 4,000. 4,100 coming on, Tom. Got it, Tom. I'm just watching you. Yeah. Okay, try to get a visual picture in your mind right. where the strongest part of that lift is. It's right around here. And you want to stay around it as much as you can. So I'm trying to do the state. We're going to try to stay at 55 miles an hour. Yep. 30. Uh, at, this, at this angle of bank, you can actually slow to 50, but we want to go a little bit steeper to stay in the, in the thermal. Right. I don't want to 55 and a little right. bit steeper. Right. Here we go, there Tom. Go, right there. Now look at that sight picture. I see it. Don't let your not nose drop again. Right. You're going, you're speeding up every time your nose drops. Yeah, it's hard. hardest to keep to try to keep maintaining your speed. Well, that's why you look outside and watch the horizon rather than your speed. Right. You that's keep right. the nose in the same place on the horizon, your speed is going to stay the same. Exactly. Makes sense. Hey Tom. So we're in the thermal from that cloud that's straight ahead of us. Right. The upside. Right in the middle. So just keep that turn going. Tom. Yeah. You should be an instructor. <laughs> what about it? I said you should be an instructor. Well, I could be, huh? Yeah, you should, huh? <laughs> well, I'll have to work on that. 
Yeah. When you get more experience, you know, you should become an instructor. You know? Yeah. <laughs> We just, get, we just do a we quick might want to, uh, This time, steady up just a little bit to the northeast. There's the sink. So we got to get around now right, and go back right. towards it. We're going to speed up a little bit and keep the turn going. And this is why you guys are hanging out over here. The what now? So now you know why you guys are hanging out over yeah. here. Yeah. All right, let me take it for a second. Sure. I've got control. All right. Airport's getting smaller and smaller, Tom. It is. Are you watching your airspeed or are you watching the horizon? Horizon. Okay. I'm going to try to remember that sight picture. Okay, we just hit the sink. Yeah. So, we can either uh, go a little further to the southwest and get the next cloud. Right. Are we going in that same direction? Okay, let's go to the next pile. Yeah. So, when you want to go to the next one, uh, speed up a little bit, right? You speed up. Right. Get through the sink. Right. Come a little bit more. You see those wispies? Yep. That tells you which way the, clock, the wind's blowing and where the thermal is. So, just go steady right here. Go about 60. And as soon as you hit the good, strong lift, Pull it back to 50, right. and then start your turn. You probably hit some sink first. There it is, there's the sink. Fly right through it. Now we'll get through that, and then there's going to be lift.
around, keep going around. And steady up to the south. And when you get to 6,000 feet, I'm gonna let you do your deep stall. Sounds good, okay. Steady up a tad here, fly into it. That's my reward for hitting 6,000, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Taking these wispies here. All right. Let me take control again. Go ahead. I've got control. Okay. We're gonna see if this if this cloud here has some.
cloud right above us. Uh, that's the one that's producing the, or the result of the thermal that we're in. Right. Take it. Yep. Get us the last 200 feet. Yep. So start your turn. We want to stay in that thermal right. we just came out of. Right. Okay, so hesitate just a bit. Fly back to the west. Okay. And why don't you turn left? And let's see if we can get that thermal again. Yeah, last one to pee right there. Yeah. We're on the edge of it. It's still yeah. up there. Right, right. Okay. Steady up just a bit. And if you want to fly into it. Right here. Yeah. Okay, there it is. You got it. Alright, now it's your turn. You get here, Tom, I'm Tommy. 20 feet to go. Yep. At least we get a little extra, huh? Yep, as long as you got it, keep going. Yeah, I ain't gonna stop it. I saw the Tom.
town this is right here? I don't know. Elwood. This is Elwood. We're over by Elwood. Yep, we're over Elwood. Uh, you know, yeah. I you know I was Franklin thinking is right to the left. Because the El I was in Elwood. That's what I was wondering if that's what that was with the uh, with the wind with the wind thing. Right. I was in Elwood once. Uh -huh. I dropped off an Uber. Okay, I want you to, uh, this time around, I'll tell you when to steady up, and then we'll do your deep stall. Sweet. And we'll go to our next cloud. Cool. So keep going, keep going, keep going. We're going to steady up to the southeast. And as long as you're in lift, just keep it at uh, 49, 50. We're dropping a little bit now. All right, you ready to roll? Roll out now. Okay. Now you do your deep stall and then go towards that cloud with the black right. bottom, the uh, dark bottom. Okay. Okay. You're gonna level off. All right, we're gonna do a stall. Okay. We're gonna play, time to play. <laughs> All right, you ready, Tom? You have any? Uh, you, you know, uh, we're good to go. Still going up. Yeah, you ready for my stall? Might as well enjoy it. So, All right. Yeah, you know what? I'm I'll hold off on that stall or what? I'm ready whenever you want. All right. All right. So I'm going to go do a deep story but now. But you want to go towards that cloud. Yeah. You don't want to drift right. away from it. All right. I'm coming around. I'm good right here, Tom. All right. We're going to perform a stall. One of my favorite procedures. Yeah, I love it. I'm really gonna drop the nose just a tad. To get that speed, 55. I'm coming up for my stall. That's it, stalling. Okay, catch it. Catch it right there. There you go. Nice. Can I try another one with a little uh, more speed on there? A little more what? A little more speed. You mind? If you want to. Yeah. Do a little deeper, come on in and come back up. Okay, I'm going to hit 55. Look it up. Okay, that's it. Don't go anymore. There you go. Come down. Catch it. Catch it. There we go. Okay. Alrighty. Let's have one more. Go back to that cloud and try another one. They use the rudders to keep the uh, wings level. Right. So Unless you want to do a wing over. Nah. Not there, no. Have you ever done a wing over? Not yet. You want to see one? Sure. All right. I have the controls. All right. Geez, huh? Now we'll go into that lift. Yes. All right, there you go. You're in lift. You've got the controls. All right. Now you can go for some more altitude. Nice. Okay, the strongest lift's behind us, so I'd start your turn. No.
Watching. You're in uh, eight knots up here. I'd keep I a turn that. going and we're good. Fifty knots and uh, yeah, I'm just trying to concentrate on that. You got to eat something different, Pete. <laughs> You're killing me back here. <laughs> <laughs> wow. 
Got that right? All right, steady up for just a second. You keep flying out of it to the south. Right, I see that. I think we have something right here. Yeah, try going back to the right, see what happens. Right, right. It's over here. Something's going on over right here. You got some long there time you go, up here. 7,000 feet. That's it, I saw that. Okay, 4,000 feet, man. Yep. All right. I think I'm learning this game, huh? Yep, you're doing good. But now it's time to go find another cloud. Yeah. Towards the, uh, uh, let's go towards the uh, southeast. Because the wind's blowing us north. And we want to get back down a little bit to the southeast. Yeah. So, 